Great job, Sam. Very, very good. Close to the gap right here. Great job. Head stop. It's your marks. Focus. Keep pushing here. Hey, Sam. Absolutely fantastic. What a race. That's the best I've seen you race. It was even better than Nola. Putting pressure on. That was George Kurt. He just won Le Mans last weekend in P2. And he was on his ass all the way. He did an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal job. And, you know, the team has done an awesome job all weekend, giving you a great car. You know, you have performed phenomenally. And uh, right now, giving you guys a fantastic car. So, great job, Sam. Be very proud of this. Congratulations. Well done. So John's popping out a baby, so he can't join us in VIR. <laughs> so we've called him a replacement, uh, Kim Possible style. Boy wonder. Hmm. Neil Bragan, Mr. Um, famous Nurburgring BMW Jr. <laughs> really looking forward to working together. I think it'll be a good time. you're at the racetrack you have some atrociously long nights some long mornings the day never stops and when you're tired you, you start to get you know a little a little bitchy just a little bit so it was my decision to make the guys do pit stop practice after they had been there the night before until 1 a.m. Listen, don't give a fuck I don't want to break my leg in there that's, that's it they got really aggravated <laughs> I started getting some of them to give me some lash back. Mark, I get it. I get it. I get it. The mechanics of it, even if you walk to the corner, I get it. No, no, you do care, and I do care the time. If, I, if we do pit stop practice, means we are practicing the pit stop for more race, which is simulation of tomorrow. One of them tried to quit, and then that took talking to to kind of calm them down. Get it on the hub. All right. He's holding it. All right. You have to push. So, his... do you want me to go through here? No. You need to push. When he's holding the wheel, you need to push the wheel as hard as you can onto the do hub. Do you want me to go through him to get to the hub? So he's blocking you again? Yes. Okay, we have three minutes. It was wet on the floor, so that really didn't help their actual self-esteem. But then what was, what was Mark saying where he wants it to be slow? Yeah, because it's wet. And he doesn't want you and the mechanics. But very slow, just mechanics, okay? Just mechanics of everything. Mark said, I mean, for me it's fine, like, just try to not be in the way that he pushed the wheel, like. You're about to take the green flag, I want people to be afraid of the car and of the guys that run the car. But I knew for the race it was good enough because I knew during the race they would be a completely different stop than that. Because that just goes into any natural human instinct. When you know that you have to do an amazing job, you will do it. You will do your best no matter what. When it's in practice, 
you're gonna give it your 70, your 60, your 80%, but not your full 100 commitment. And during the race, they did that. Oh my God, there was so much drama. There was some drama over at STR 38 side of things in the GT4 program. We had Harry join us this weekend with Chandler and because of what happened at Coda with John and Chandler with that crash in turn one, and even though we had been clarifying with the series for over two weeks, they decided at race one start that they were gonna penalize the car for what? <laughs> Even though Chandler and Harry had nothing to do with the crash, they decided to give them a pit lane start, which means they have to start from the back of the pack. And Harry was P2 overall, like at the front of a 40 plus car field. So, but oh my God, Harry was passing a car every lap, literally every minute. I, whenever you looked at Harry, he was passing somebody. <laughs> Harry, you're a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's diet. Bro, got some gangster ass wheeling. Good job, buddy. Thank you. 30 minutes before the start of the race, and I ran straight up there. They fucking they lied to me Damn. on Thursday morning. That's all good. Straight to my face said, don't worry about the penalty, it doesn't apply to the car. I called the race director a week ago to discuss this. Yeah. Everybody assured me to my face. We talked through all the scenarios of hey, why this doesn't make sense. I said, give us a second to talk about it. I stood outside for 10 minutes waiting for them. I walked back in, they were kind of talking about something else, and I said, guys, any update on what we talked about? Yeah. Uh, we spoke about it, and uh, we're sticking with our decisions. Him and Chandler ended up passing 30 cars over the course of the race, and they finished, I think it was P3. It was an absolutely insane drive from both of them. And, you know, Harry looked freaking was a rocket, rocket ship. <laughs> but they killed it and the AM guys killed it. But I had a great time. <laughs> I'm overly happy. I had a great time. Another double podium for them. Correct me if I'm wrong. There are worse things. Worse things. <laughs> hey, you got a little something on your lens? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the ESO show. <laughs> Bring the band in. So I gotta go get it, uh, this life getting all my attention Don't you worry, I don't burn my bridges Look at these words, I'm so artistic Paint this canvas, uh, looking fantastic Even when I know there's madness Trust me, I've tasted and seen it happens But I still go out and get it like a savage, uh VIR is kind of a difficult track to pass in Um, you can in turn one, obviously But it's really like you have to wait for somebody to make a mistake uh, And capitalize on that to be able to make a pass and that's exactly what I did. I kept it clean and oh my god, people were just taking themselves out. I was just sitting back there, watching, being safe, being patient, waiting to make my move. And I made up, I think, like six positions during my stint, just from people driving off track. <laughs> um, so we ended up finishing the race, P2, because Neil also had a great stint. Um, P2 in class. And we won Hard Charger, which was just amazing. And it started off the weekend with some very, very good momentum. Race two, Neil started the race, P3. We were right up front. And he was battling with our favorite watermelon car, Porsche. But he did end up getting by, because he's, he's a G. I hopped in, and oh my god, I had the fight of my life with George Kurtz in the Mercedes. I think I left pit lane right behind him. We had a really great pit stop, the guy killed it. Um, and I was fucking on his ass. Fortunately, like sticking behind him and doing all that battling kind of like wore out my fronts to heat up a lot faster when you're in somebody's draft. Finished P2 overall. Two P2s at VIR. Freaking amazing. But you know what that means? We're right on the cusp of that win, guys.